welcome back. Last week we talked about bioidentical hormone replacement. And if you didn't get to see that video, maybe go back after you finished with this one and take a look. 65% of menopausal women will become overweight during menopause. And that's more than half of us, even if you didn't have a weight problem before. And fat loss is not easy to come by when your hormones are not balanced. So there's a lot of things, a lot of factors, a lot of issues going on in a menopausal body. We have the fact that we're aging, things are wearing out, and we are not as youthful as we once were. Some of us are moving less, we have joint issues, but I want to take I want to take a little bit of time today to kind of just offer a little bit of a reboot. There's three keys to fat loss here that might really help you focus on and become a little more diligent and understand exactly how fat loss works in the body, especially a woman's menopausal body, because it ain't easy. Understanding is key in my opinion, and I love I love to explain things so that you can kind of have a better understanding in your fat loss journey so that maintenance becomes easy. It's like once you get the weight off, you don't have to go back and forth. Yo-yoing is very difficult. So in my opinion, understanding is key. If you're new here, I'm Connie Rutledge. I'm a functional nutritionist. I'm a menopausal fat loss specialist and I help you, the menopausal woman, gain tools use tricks and secrets for fat loss. So welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'd love it if you subscribed. Um, go back and watch my earlier videos if you haven't already, because there's a lot of information. And you know what, this is not new information. This is information that's been out here on the internet. Um, there's a lot of information on the internet. Some of it works and some of it doesn't work. And I like to share tips that are no nonsense, viable, sustainable lifestyle hacks that are gonna really help you with long-term fat loss, longevity, and so you feel good in your body. That's my goal. I want you to feel good in your skin, I want you to look good, and I want you to live happily ever after. All right, we're gonna get into it. The first fat loss hack in my opinion, is timing, meal timing, food timing, fasting. All of those things are very, very important for the body to understand when to use stored fat, when to use the fuel that you just put into it, and when not to do anything at all, okay? I work with a lot of you, and a lot of times when we get started, I hear things like, I'm fasting until noon and I'm not losing any weight. And then I learned that you're adding cream and collagen peptides and protein powder and other things into that morning coffee and you think that's fasting. Well, that's not fasting. Fasting technically is water only, but we can get away with black coffee, black tea, maybe a little bit of MCT oil or another type of fat in teeny tiny amounts in that fasted state. There's been a little bit of controversial controversy lately about fasting and adrenal health and should menopausal women fast and what time is the best time to fast. Well, that's up to everybody's individual. That's up to you. I feel like we definitely want to, I've said this before, keep the body guessing. So I'm gonna say if fasting early in the day is working for you and you feel satiated with the food that you're eating later in the day and don't have problems with binging and or sticking to your good clean diet, then continue on that road. But if you feel like, okay, I, I really muscled through the morning of fasting and I blew it at lunch, and then I just ate the rest of the day because I blew it at lunch, then that tells me that you have an energy problem and that your body is not feeling safe 
and secure with an early day fast. You might wanna eat earlier in the day, meaning you wake up in the morning, you have your morning coffee or tea, and then eat an hour or an hour and a half after waking up and start your day that way. That might set you up for a stronger constitution in how you feel in your body so that you're not caving into cravings later in the day when you're exhausted. It has to do with how metabolically stable you are and it might take some time for you to figure that out. Let's face it, fasting is, is an F word when you're not metabolically stable. Now for me, I enjoy fasting. I feel really good fasting. Sure, sometimes I do feel a little bit hungry, but I typically will take my optimal amino protein um, essential amino acid supplement, get my workout in, and then I feel really, really satiated until sometimes two o'clock in the afternoon, depending on you know what's happening in my day, what my energy needs are, but I can feel very satiated at hour 15 in the fasted state most days. I've worked hard to get to that point. My body understands that I'm going to be fed and I'm not muscling through the fast. That's probably one of the biggest mistakes that my clients make is they feel like they have to fast and that's not entirely true. If you're not metabolically stable, if you've got 30 pounds to lose and your metabolism is sluggish and you've been low calorie dieting and you're not sleeping and you're stressed, then we need to feed your body more often. It needs that reassurance that it's going to get fed so it doesn't withheld, withhold and hold on to fat because it's not feeling safe. Another key point to fat loss is you don't wanna be eating any time other than meal time. No snacking. So we're definitely going to be practice intermittent, practicing our intermittent fasting unless you're metabolically very inflexible and you need to work on three solid meals a day for as many weeks or months as it takes for you to heal that metabolism, but you're being very careful with your food. And back to the fasting, we're going to be understanding that in the fasted state, you have plenty of water, possibly some sugar-free electrolytes, coffee, tea, possibly some bone broth. You can do sea salt. If you need something, something like a fat, like butter or MCT oil, or possibly heavy cream in your coffee, if that's what your palate likes to get you through, I feel very comfortable in suggesting that, that type of fasting. It's not gonna impact your glucose or your blood sugar control. It'll help your body tap into stored fat for fuel instead of something that you just fed it. So practicing intermittent fasting, understanding why you're intermittent fasting because you have stored fat on board, your body has fuel that you want it to use, and we have to find a way for your body to be able to tap into that stored fuel, body fat, for you to then get going with that fast, that, that fat burning mechanism. What are your ketones? Do you have any ketones? You can measure those with the Keto Mojo. So then when it is time to eat and you do have a mealtime feeding window in your midst, it's, it, it's mealtime, then food is number two. Obviously food is important in a fat loss journey. What you eat is very important. Yes, calories matter, but macros matter more. The amount of protein is key when you want fat loss. Carbohydrates will fall second, and we wanna make sure that we're very, very careful with the type of carbohydrates that we choose. I like to say, eat nature's carb. If you need more starch, 
have a tablespoon or two to get you started, to see how low you can go as far as your carbohydrate load with the opportunity to then eat higher carb a couple days a week to really rev the metabolism. Because when you restrict and eat like 20 carbs or less week to week, your body's gonna get wise to that way and it's gonna start conserving. So it's very, very important for you to eat balanced, eat plenty of vegetables, the grains we're gonna really definitely restrict. Fruit also is going to be enjoyed in small amounts. You're gonna take your digestive enzymes and enjoy that meal within an hour to an hour and a half window where you eat everything needed within your feeding window and close down that feeding window so that your body can process that meal and utilize the fuel instead of storing it as fat. That's completely universal. You wanna eat and then you wanna stop eating. So no snacking. And we talked about that earlier. So number one is fasting and meal timing. Number two is food. What are you eating? How many carbohydrates? How many protein grams? What kind of fat are you in using? And that's a key. Number three is manage your stress. Stress elicits cortisol. Cortisol then in, increases insulin and your glucose goes up. Your blood sugar goes up it's virtually impossible for your body to burn stored fat if all of those cortisol mechanisms are in place. So if you need to meditate, if you need to take a walk, that's why exercise is so important because it can really help reduce overall stress. Not over-exercising, that's a whole nother subject, but using your body in a way to burn stored cortisol, to burn stored fat, and really kind of mellow things out so that your body has the ease of feeling okay. So find a way to understand your cortisol, how that your stress level is. If you need nutrients like GABA, 5-HTP, L-theanine, those types of calming nutrients to kind of give yourself a, a break. Maybe that's important. And when you're on top of your game, you have less stress. If you've planned for your meals for a couple days and you know your strategy and you trust the process, then it's quite possible that your stress level will definitely be lower. Now I'm not talking about you know, you, you can't change things around you. You can change your relationships. You can change your attitude. I understand that sometimes it's impossible for stress to be low. I mean, especially in this day and age. But if you can trust the process of, okay, I've got my, my meals planned. At least I have food in the refrigerator or available to me. I know what I'm going to be eating and I know when I'm going to be eating it, that's gonna be huge. So willy-nilly, being all over the place with, oh, I tried and I, 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 I just didn't have this or that, you can make that happen. Cook up some chicken, have some resources available, use your tools and be consistent with that. Your hormones are gonna thank you your body will feel less inflamed and you will be more available to all the things that are coming at you on the daily. Fantastic. There's a lot more to this fat loss journey. I mean, we definitely need to be ticking all the boxes to have a lasting success at fat loss. And I feel like if you focus on one or two or even three things consistently and without wavering, and sure, you're gonna fall off the wagon now and then, 
But if you're more consistent and if you have a plan, then you're going to be more successful and you're going to feel better and things will be easier, eliciting better results overall. So get started on these three. They're not simple things, but they're doable things. Your lifestyle changes will definitely be important in just appreciating how easy things can turn around. And then you feel better and life is easier. I want that for you. So as a menopausal woman myself, I'm very interested in longevity and anti-aging. There's been a lot of research that I'm digging into about peptides and stem cells and stem cell therapies and those types of biohacking tools. And I wanted to share a little bit with you about stem cell support and supplementation. Did you know that there are stem cells within our aging body that need to be accessed for regeneration um, as we age. I mean, think about it. Our healing ability slows as we age, right? You look at your grandkids and they can have a cut or even a broken limb and weeks later they're healed. It's remarkable. Us, well, you know, sometimes we <laughs> bump our arm and it gets bruised and it takes weeks for it to regenerate and repair. But we can increase that healing ability and regenerative process by unlocking stem cells that are within us. And I've discovered a new supplement. It's called Stem Regen and it's blowing my mind. This is an advanced stem cell support supplement. This supplement contains ingredients that were new to, brand new to me. And I know a lot of supplements, but these are proprietary blend of natural ingredients that support stem cell release. So we've got stem cells locked in our bone marrow, in our bloodstream, and we need to access them for regenerative processes, organ regeneration, tissue regeneration, that repair and renewal process that we so desperately want. This is an amazing resource. It's an amazing resource for cardiovascular health, glucose metabolism. When we increase the number of circulating stem cells, they can regenerate cells within the pancreas and we can restore healthy glucose levels. It's totally metabolic healing. Brain health. Stem cells can become brain cells. So that dementia or those memory issues, you could help regenerate that with the addition of circulating stem cells. Wake those stem cells up. Use a supplement that's going to elicit stem cells in your body. It's pretty amazing. Stem cells can transform any tissue and repair them, rebuild them. That's so restorative. So I invite you to give this stem regen a try if you are looking for anti-aging, if you're looking for metabolic healing, if you're dealing with any catastrophic illness like cancer or dementia, or diabetes. I'm feeling really, really excited about the addition of having a, a supplement like this available because you can use it in pulses, you can, you can use it month on, month off. It's not an inexpensive supplement. It's, it's very expensive. I do have a discount code in the show notes down below. Um, but I would absolutely recommend giving it a try. You might need to do a little bit of research, look into it, but I can tell you from personal experience that I do feel it's working. I do feel like it's a wonderful addition to the other great lifestyle hacks and modalities that I already use. I like the fact that igniting a stem cell surge in my body on a daily basis for a time is super, super interesting and restorative. When you take two pills, your body gets the benefit of accessing restorative stem cells that are going to improve general overall health. 
If your heart is faulty, it, they're gonna go to your heart. If you break your arm, they're gonna go to your arm to rebuild all that. If you have metabolic issues, they're gonna attend to that. And it's the wave of the future. Very different than an antioxidant. It's very different than uh, a vitamin. It's stem cells. And it's all about longevity and cellular repair. I think it's amazing. And I'm thrilled to be able to offer it. And I know that it's something that you'll love trying. Well, thanks for listening today. I hope this information is helpful and you can put it into practice so that you can feel good. I'm wishing you a healthy, happy day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me by maybe clicking on the links below and trying the products that I love. It means a lot to me. I hope this information is helpful and that you can get some traction under that fat loss journey because you deserve to feel good. Come for the fat loss, stay for the longevity. We're not getting any younger. This fat loss longevity thing, it's worth doing, I can assure you. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.